Uh, now is a special time in our church. Uh, usually people come and ask. They, they've really enjoyed uh, uh, baby dedications. Uh, in the Bible you will see that babies are never baptized. In the Bible babies are actually dedicated to the Lord. Why is this? A baptism it has to be a conscious decision. You have to be old enough to say, I want to give my life to Jesus. So that's when somebody is baptized. When a baby is dedicated, is the parent saying, Lord, here's my baby, or the, or the mother or the father, Lord, here's my baby, please take my baby. So today we have a special dedication. I'd like to come invite uh, um, Shakira. Shakira, would you like please to come forward with your family? Right now, I would appreciate it if you can. I just need the, this. There we go. Thank you very much. This. Thank you very much. Come on up. He's so cute. Look at him. Yeah, you just stay right here, right? Got old family and friends here, please. So you stay right behind her. Let me move the podium here a little bit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. If, it, if anybody else is here, by all means, come come forward. Yes, we got the family, immediate family, friends here to support, by all means. Yes. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Amen. Bryce, come on up, Bryce. It's fine. That, that's how families are, right? That, that's, how, that's how kids are, right? We, we understand it. Well, uh, let me stay here so everybody can see their family this time. Uh, first of all, we'd like to thank you for uh, Shakira. I'd like to thank you for uh, asking to have your, your son uh, dedicated here. Now, so you understand who Shakira is, Sister Trudy, right? Brownwell, she's our church member here. Shakira is her daughter. And uh, that's Bryce right there you saw. He's not here right now. Uh, but we, we have a special little guy. He's so handsome. I love the hat, right? <laughs> love the hat. Uh, he, he's, he, his name is Braden Liam Crisafi. And uh, today he's being dedicated to the Lord. So we're having a special moment together as church in which we are going to do this. As I talk to the family, uh, you know, in the church you said it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a lot of people to help. And uh, this church family here, Shakira, whatever we can do to be a blessing to you and, and to your, both of your boys and to your family, we are here to help in any way, shape, or form we can. Uh, when, 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 when a couple comes together and has a child, now it's not just one family. You have one big family. You have the family of, of the wife, of the husband, and everybody else in between. And all these people who are here, they're here to support and encourage you as you raise them to be men who make a difference in this world. Men of valor. Men of integrity. That will not just go with the flow or go with whatever the wind blows. They will stand for what is right. Even if it happens false. So that's what we pray and, uh, and, and, and really wish, uh, of course, to Bryce and, and to Brayden. But we pray the Lord will give you the wisdom and the strength to go on as a mother in every other aspect of your life. So as we have been uh, done here in the past, what we're going to do right now, before we come in uh, and, 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 and share some thoughts, I would like to read a Bible passage for them. Uh, it's found in Psalm 127. For those who are there, go to Psalm 127, please. And uh, this is a powerful verse, powerful psalm. I've read this before here. Uh, and... Um, Sometimes people read that some and they don't think it's talking about family, but it is uh, talking about family. It has this wonderful uh, blessing upon families and, and children as well. So Psalm 127, I'll be reading, is a short psalm, but it's a powerful psalm nonetheless. The psalm says this, Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you raise up in the morning, rise up in the morning, and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved his sleep. Then he says, verse 3, Behold, children are the heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb, a reward. 
So as a, you have a child, this is a gift. It's a gift of God. It's his heritage. And it says, like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the, is the person, the man and the woman who fills his quiver with them. You shall not be put to shame when she speaks with the enemies in the gate. It seems to be a, 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 a verse, a, a, a psalm so small but so profound because it says that it is in vain to try to build a house. It is in vain to try to do, to hustle, to do so many things without allowing the Lord to build your house. To give it the wisdom and the strength. To be the best mother you can be. So our prayer, our wish, that you allow the Lord build your house. Giving you wisdom to be an excellent mother, a humbling mother. A mother who will be patient, who will be wise, and by all means will make mistakes. We all do. If you ever fall, you will get up. Because, as you know, motherhood is a gift of a lifetime. There will never be a time you will not be a mother. No matter how old they are, there will never be a time you will not be a mother anymore. So we pray that God will bless you and give you the blessing and the wisdom that you need to take them forward and raise them to be men of integrity. Amen? Amen. So, church, what we're going to do now also as we discussed, uh, I'm going to hold the little guy here. Hope he will be fine. And I'm going to be walking around the church as some of you guys can see. And again, the, couple, I, the couples never ask this, but I ask on behalf of the couples. I just ask that you refrain from touching the baby as I walk down the aisle. You know, there's a lot of germs nowadays, right? So I just kindly ask you to refrain from touching him, but at least you'll get to see him a little bit up close. Okay? So, thank you.
Amen. I can't hold it back now. You to turn the mic on. Thank you. Amen. It's all right, buddy. Amen. So from up front here, we're going to kneel as far as we can. The church, you will remain as you are. We just ask you to just bow our heads. And as you're going to pray and dedicate uh, this little guy here, right, right into the Lord, right into the Lord. Let us pray. Let's kneel. Almighty Father in heaven, here, Lord, we bring another gift that you have given to Shakira and to her family. We hold this little young man in your arms of love here, and we pray you will bless him, anoint him with your Holy Spirit. You've known his name even before he was going to be born. You've known him, his parents, grandparents, even before you created time. And at this time now, we dedicate him to you, O Father. And we pray your Spirit will guide him, touch him, anoint him. Bless every step that he takes or his hands will touch and heal. Will he grow to have integrity? Will he grow to be a blessing unto men and women anywhere he goes? We pray for the family. We pray for the parents, giving them wisdom giving them um, all the things that they need in this so challenging time to raising children. Give them your spirit, O oh Father. Give him he, this, your spirit to raise and make a difference in this world today and even when he grows up. To be a man that will choose always integrity, will choose you over the pleasures and values of this world, will do what is right even when everybody else thinks is wrong. May you anoint him with your spirit today. Today, he's being dedicated to you. So one day, we pray he will dedicate himself to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we surrender this life into your hands. Amen. 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 Thank you. Just before we go back and sit down now, we also have a little, a little gift. Yeah, we have a little gift now. Uh, for this year, we, we praying that every, every little child that is baptized in our church will become a little sheep uh, of, of our greatest shepherd, that is Jesus Christ. So we're giving this as a gift of the White Marsh Church to a little friend here. You'll always remember that you are a little sheep, a little lamb of Jesus. And Jesus is the good shepherd. So whenever you feel lonely, that you can't handle it, remember, Jesus is his shepherd, he's also yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank right? You. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.